Welcome to this Sage 50 US edition anytime learning topic. After the end of each payroll year in January, you must print and distribute W-2s to your employees so they can file their federal and state taxes. You should wait to print W-2s until at least the last half of December to ensure you have the January payroll solutions update installed. To access tax forms, select the employees and payroll navigation center. Click the forms icon and then select federal forms from the drop-down menu. The system will automatically check for recent tax form updates before opening the selector window. If updates are found, they will be automatically downloaded and installed on your system. After the form's update processes is complete, the payroll tax form selector is displayed. On the payroll tax form selector window, select federal as the form type and select the W2W3 from the available forms list. In the select filing period section, choose the year for which W2s will be printed. In the Select Employees for W-2 section, the default is to print for all employees, but you can choose to print W-2s for a range of employees as well. In some circumstances, you may also choose to print for a single employee. Let's click OK. The W-2 Setup Wizard will display. On the first page of the wizard, you can take a test drive of the W-2 process to see what the W-2s will look like when printed without actually saving any data. Leave it set to the third option to start processing W-2s. Click Next. On the company FDIN page, verify your company's federal employer identification number. It's very important that this number is correct as it will be verified against your company name by the taxing authorities, and it is printed on all W-2s and W-3s included during this process. If this number is incorrect, cancel the wizard and go to the Maintain Company Information window. Update the FDIN at the Federal Employer ID field and then rerun the W-2 wizard. Let's click Next. Now the Multiple Payroll Data Files page is displayed. If you will be filing payroll forms for more than one Sage 50 company that uses the same Federal Employer ID number, select the first option. This option will combine the multiple payroll filings into one batch. Select No, I use a single payroll data file and click Next. On the Company Information page, most of the company information fields will be populated based on the information entered in the Maintain Company Information window. Ensure that the information is correct. When finished, click Next. On the Tax Preparer Type page, there are two file types you can choose from. Select I am filing for my own company employer if the information printed on the forms will be for your own company and will not include any prepared information. Select I am a third-party paid tax preparer if you are a paid preparer working for a different company. You will be taken to an additional page to enter information about your company that will be used on the forms for sections required to be filled out by paid tax preparers. Let's click Next. If any tax account number is not formatted properly, it will be highlighted in red and you will not be able to continue without correcting it. You will receive a pop of tax item error, allowing you to make corrections. Make your corrections and click Next. Verify that any W-2 names for state and local taxes are correct. Click the Edit button to make any changes. Please note making corrections here will not update your company information. If you want the corrections to be permanent, you must also make the changes in the company information window. Let's click Next. Click OK on Tax Information Notifications. Now the data verification page is displayed. Please read each question carefully and modify the responses as needed. When you are finished, click Next. The information entered on the W-3 information page will be printed on your company's W-3 form. Select the kind of payer box option that describes which kind of payer applies to this company. And in the kind of employer box, select the value from the drop-down which best describes your company. Let's click Next. For security, you can truncate employee social security numbers on all printed employee copies. Make your selection and click Next. Click OK on the Prepare Steps window to view the W-2 Prepare window. This window is also referred to as the grid. Note that the grid is split into the left side with employee information, and the right side contains the wage data. The bar at the top left of the window indicates your progress. Click Next to advance to the next step. As you click Next, the blue shading shows the current focus. To begin, verify employee information. This information is pulled from the employee's record. Let's click Next at the top of the window. If an employee's information is formatted incorrectly, you will be prompted to return to the grid and correct it. The row is highlighted to expedite the process. Click Next. 
The focus shifts to the Box 13 columns. Confirm that each employee's Box 13 information is accurate. Statutory employee and retirement plan information is pulled from the withholding info tab of each employee's record. Check third-party sick pay if an employee receives third-party sick pay at any time during the payroll year. Any changes made on this window will not also update your employee records. Now click Next and note that the focus is shifted to the right pane of the grid, where the wage information is located. For better viewing, you can grab the pane divider bar and drag it to the left or right to resize the panes. You should verify the federal wage information for each employee. And when you are finished, click Next and verify the state wage information. The grid will also allow you to manually add columns when needed for Box 12 or Box 14 items. When you have completed your verification of each employee's wage information, click Next. You will be presented with your final opportunity to review or edit employee details. Click Double Check to go back. Click Agree to continue. The W-2 Printing and Filing Options window is displayed. For complete W-2 e-filing services, which include e-filing all forms to federal and state agencies, select the first option. You can do a one-time e-file for W-2s. To choose which forms you would like to print or e-file, select the second option and check which items to print. Click OK on the Electronic Filing Requirements notification which states that organizations filing, in aggregate 10 or more IRS returns, of any kind in a calendar year will need to file electronically. For this demonstration, we will print employee W-2s, all federal and all state forms. Read the comment displayed about the state lowered e-file requirement to align with federal requirements. Click OK. If you feel you should change to e-file because of the message, you can deselect your current choices and switch to the first option. If you switch, follow the Atrix prompts. Click Next. Atrix recaps the cost of one-time e-filing again. Select No. I will continue using my current printing options. Then click Next. Make your selection on the Select the States You Wish to File page and click Next. The Review Data page is displayed. Confirm that everything you selected is listed. You can click the Print button to print a copy of this list for your records. Click Next. The W-2 Payroll Tax Forms window appears, displaying your employees' W-2s ready for printing. Note the yellow progress bar indicating which step is being processed. Use the page navigation aid at the top left of the window to page through and review each W-2 before printing. When you are finished reviewing, click the print final button to print the employee W-2s. A prompt will appear, informing you that W-2s should be printed on official four-part perforated paper with instructions on the back. Click OK. Click OK on the print window. You can click the Page Align button and print a test page to ensure that W-2s will be printed properly. When you are finished, click the Next Step button. The federal W-2 form is displayed. Use the Page Navigation Aid at the top left of the window to view each W-2 before printing. When you have completed your review, click the Print Final button. You will be prompted that the federal W-2 copy should be printed on plain paper. Click OK to print. Like the employee copies, you can click the Page Align button to ensure the federal copies are printed correctly. Click OK. When you are finished, click the Next Step button. The federal W-3 form is displayed. Click the Print Final button to print the federal W-3. After printing, click the Next Step button to view the state W-2 form. After reviewing it, click the Print Final button and then click the Next Step button. If required, annual state reports may display as well. If you see fields shaded in red, you will have to enter required information. Otherwise, after reviewing, click Print Final. Now you will be prompted to double check the information on the state report. Click Double Check to review, or click Agree to continue to the print screen. Click OK to print the state form. Click Next Step. The Employer W 2 form is displayed. These are copies of the employee W 2s, which you should keep for your records. Click Print Final to print. After printing, click the Next Step button. After printing all forms and reports, the W-2 history file options will appear with an overview of your last completed actions in the W-2 wizard. The available actions save you time, so you don't have to start over unless that's what you really want to do. Select Reprint Completed W-2s to reprint a copy of any W-2 filing that has already been processed through the W-2 W-3 wizard. Select e-file or print incomplete W-2s to file additional W-2 copies that have not yet been processed. Select correct completed W-2s to correct W-2 copies that have previously been processed. 
Select EW2 password lookup to update an employee's email address to send them their electronic W2 password or to look up a password. Click close to exit the W2 history options window and return to the main screen. Thank you for taking this anytime learning lesson. For information on additional trading options, please visit us at sagey.com.